and then the police officer emptied about half a gallon of mace into my eyeballs. I guess it's good to be part of the 1%. Oh, I got an email. This thing is too complicated. I don't know how it works. But you know what isn't complicated? Navigating the XDA forums with the new XDA Labs app. I had a pretty productive day. Aside from some scuffles with a police officer, I was able to learn a lot of cool tips and tricks about how to navigate the XDA forms using the XDA Labs app. I'm going to share some of the best ones with you. Very not a good. There's this girl that I'm in love with from New Zealand. She's into castles and stuff. But anyways, let's navigate to a thread uh, using the new search feature. I'm pretending like I'm tapping on my phone, but really this is all pre-recorded. My phone just shows a screen. Anyways, you can search through the XDA forms. This is a really smart search feature that has everything really well organized. Open up a thread here, and then within the thread, this is one of my favorite features. You can slide between pages just by swiping the screen like this. So here I'm going through pages. That's a lot easier than it was before when you have to click on things and be a bit different. You know, I can better describe to you what I mean by drawing an illustration here for you. But I don't have a marker. And check it out. If there's a thread I really like, I can share it with my girlfriend in New Zealand. Just press and hold and hit the share key. We usually only communicate through notes on Google Keep, but you can use all of the built-in Android share features. And check this out, at the top of every thread or form, you can pull down the navigation menu and jump from forum to forum. It's really good, yes. But there are some specific settings that I think are really cool. The first one is the theme. You can switch from dark to light theme, which really changes the look of the app. And I'm kind of a crazy guy, so I'm going to switch this on and become a labs tester. This will get me access to early versions of labs updates. And of course you can toggle different types of notifications. And if I want an icon that's going to take me directly to the forums, I can toggle that as well. Then that icon will be placed in your app drawer, and you can press and hold it and take it to your home screen. Nice. That's the dumbest tree I've ever seen. Now get out your phone to try out my final and favorite feature. When you're scrolling through a form like this, I can take threads that I really like and want to stay up to date with. Press and hold it and then make a shortcut on my homepage. I've got my shortcuts separated into folders. One for my Nexus 6P stuff and one for my Galaxy S7 stuff. And of course you can create shortcuts to entire forums as well. Now you can easily access all of your favorite parts of XDA right from your home screen. Guys, these are good tips. I'm trying to raise enough money to go visit my internet girlfriend in New Zealand. The overlords over at XDA developers tell me if this video gets over 400 likes, they'll fly me out to New Zealand to meet her and be with her and be happy. So like this video, subscribe to this channel for updates and more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay.